Good morning, everyone. My name is Al Barba. I'm part of the athletic communications team here at Kennesaw State. On behalf of President Owens, uh, Kennesaw State University, and the Department of Athletics, I'd like to welcome and thank you for attending today's uh, press conference to introduce Milton Overton as our fourth director of athletics. Um, Before we get started, I'll just give a little rundown as to how the morning's going to go. Um, I will introduce uh, President Olins. He'll have a few remarks and introduce um, Milton, and Milton will speak for a few minutes. And then following Milton's uh, talk, we'll um, make them both available to the media. We have a backdrop here and one behind the screen, and we'll have them in both locations and allow the media to answer questions. And then following that, um, they'll have a chance to meet and greet with who they didn't have a chance to meet with prior to. So to get this started, I'd like to introduce President Olins to say some remarks. So thank you, Al. Thanks for joining us today, and thanks for greeting our new athletic director, Milton Overton. You know, when we had the opening I would get emails from all the search firms, you need to hire us. Many emails telling me that I needed to hire them. But I also started immediately getting emails from candidates wanting the job. And I got emails and calls from folks in the sports world that started telling me names that they thought would be really good for Kennesaw State University. And a couple of those calls said, you know, there's a gentleman, Milton Overton, that you need to be looking at for this position, that he has a great track history, a great history with student athletes and with universities. And they were right. And we never did hire a search firm because as soon as I met Milton Overton and the search committee had the opportunity to meet with Milton Overton we knew we wanted this gentleman to be the athletic director. Like so many in the Al Nation, we are thrilled to have him join our program. The timing could not be more perfect as the university is enjoying one of its most successful fall seasons as a D1 program. So I don't want to put any pressure on you, director. <laughs> but uh, our women, and men's golf teams have combined for seven top five showings in nine events, including one first place. Our volleyball team is headed to Florida later this afternoon. They have a win percentage over 800. They beat Clemson at Clemson. They beat Georgia here, both in three straight sets, and they are doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job, and Keith's here and, and doing a great, great job. Two wins shy of tying the school record for wins in a season. Our women's soccer program advanced to the ASUN Conference semifinals for the second year in a row. And we also have this little program called football. And the football teams ranked 23, and Coach Bohannon waves, says, to raise your hand there. He, numerous of his coaches are here today. You know, last week I had the honor to, to go up with uh, his team to Bozeman. And uh, Coach Bohannon was really complimentary of the program at Montana State. And uh, the coach at Montana State was lavishing much praise on Kennesaw State and Coach Bo. And then when it came to the play-by-play -play announcer's comments right before the game, they said, you know, this team's never traveled so far for a game. The lowest temperature they've ever played in is 53 degrees, and it's 20. They were still sweeping snow off the seats from eight inches or so from the night before. And last time I checked, I think of the 60 minutes in the game, you controlled 40. And your team played fantastic and came back uh, with a great win for the program, a great learning experience for the student athletes and a great program. And if they win these next two games that we all know they have the ability to do based on their coaches and their talent, they will be conference champions 
and play in the first playoff game. And oh, by the way, they've won eight in a row in the rank 23 nationally in FCS. So thank you, Coach Bo. Now we have other coaches in the room that don't play in the fall that have fantastic programs that have won national championships. Mike's here, numerous coaches that do a great job for us in all the sports that we participate in. But one of the things I'm most proud about, if I remember correctly, was last year the GPA for our student athletes was 299. And that is something to really be thankful for and to really thank our coaches for. Now, similar to our teams here at KSU, success is nothing new to Milton. He joins us after two flourishing years as director of athletics at FAMU, a program that, seems, that has seen remarkable growth under his guidance. With him at the helm of Florida A&M, they had their first balanced budget in more than a decade. He increased revenue by more than $2 million. He saw its football team finish in the top five for FCS attendance in consecutive years. He increased the student athlete grade point averages and academic progress rate scores across every sport. And that is so, so important. And it doesn't get much play in the press, but increasing the GPA and the APR, coaches all working together is so, so important. Prior to his time at FAMU, he was at uh, this little school several hours from us called Alabama. And he was credited for providing oversight for about $25 million in budgets and equipment, producing $6 million in new revenue generating and cost saving initiatives, oversaw seven units in lead technology renovations and construction for several facilities. Also, Previously was at Texas A&M, another storied program. Milton's a graduate of the NCAA Pathway Program, which provides senior level athletics administrators with a rigorous curriculum and mentorship and preparation for becoming a director of athletics. He earned both his undergraduate and graduate degrees at the University of Oklahoma, where he was a four-year starter as an offensive lineman for the Sooners football team. First time I met him, I thought he was an offensive lineman. <laughs> we don't grow like that in my family, you know, it's just, it's just not there. Milton has developed a reputation as an innovative and creative leader, especially as it relates to marketing and fundraising. I have no doubt, and the search committee and the individuals on our campuses that met with Milton prior to him being offered the job have no doubt that he's the right person to lead our program to even better days. Please join me in a very warm welcome for our newest Al, Athletic Director Milton Overton. Okay. So I put the hat on for uh, just for the pictures really quick. All right, I don't know how I look, but. Uh, I uh, will enjoy wearing this uh, very much. Thank you so much, uh, President uh, Olins. And uh, I also want to just kind of thank, uh, first off, I'm going to thank God for uh, the ability to be here and, and, and being a very important part of my life. And I also want to thank uh, the search committee uh, that I had an opportunity that was so gracious uh, to talk to. They asked very tough questions, which is really good. <laughs> and uh, as well as the, uh, the athletics board, uh, the alumni, uh, donors, faculty, staff, your coaches, um, uh, obviously our student athletes, and uh, I want to let you guys know that I'm here to be a teammate. My, my primary focus is to be a teammate. My primary focus is to make sure that uh, what, what we do here is uh, always uh, push, push you up. Not me, but you. And it will always be the focus. And uh, it, I've done that my entire life, and it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that I, I believe very much in. Because if you believe in people and you show them that you care about them, they're going to go through a wall for you. And, and I see that the success here has is, is just been phenomenal because of the great leadership, um, because of the great dedication <clears throat> that uh, the, the community has had uh, for this great institution. And what I want to do is make sure that I do my part. And so you can, you can rest assured that that's going to happen. I have uh, been uh, uh, charged as being sometimes a, a workaholic, so you'll see me early and you'll see me late. 
uh, but it's because I believe in it uh, very much in terms of what we're doing. I also want to thank uh, Interim Athletic Director uh, Matt Griffin, uh, Senior Associate Athletic Director, uh, uh, Mr. Scott Whit Whitlock, and uh, Charlotte. So Charlotte runs the show. And uh, <laughs> I've learned that, and, uh, and so she's going to help me out tremendously uh, <laughs> in doing this transition period, but I really appreciate you. The other folks I want to thank, I've got two young men, he's not here today, uh, my sons, Makai and Labeas Overton, uh, who live just a couple hours away from here in, in Tuscaloosa. They've been uh, very much part of my journey, and uh, they're always in my hearts. And so you guys will see a lot of them. Uh, they're really big kids. Uh, my oldest is uh, about six, five and a half and uh, 16, and my youngest is 13. He's about six, two and a half with a 15 shoe. So I think he'll look good. They'll look good uh, if they have an opportunity to earn a scholarship here at some point. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> also, I want to thank my uh, mentors. We've had some really good mentors uh, along the way. Uh, Dave Hart, uh, Eric Hyman, uh, Bill Byrne, and uh, late Mal Moore, uh, who taught me a lot. When I was at Alabama, uh, I remember Coach Moore and we talk about facilities and things like that all the time. Obviously, you, you know, you always want to move forward. And we had a coach down there that kind of cared about facilities, okay, just a little bit, <laughs> and Nick Saban. And uh, but he walked me down to the old weight room, and, uh, you know, Coach Moore, he had about seven national championship rings as a coach. Uh, he was Coach Bryant's uh, uh, offensive coordinator. And he said, look, Milton, this is what we want right here. And, this, and it, was a, it was a weight room about the size of this room for everybody. Now, I'm not saying that to say that you always have to have a weight room that size, but what it taught me is, is about being blue collar. You can be a blue collar worker, okay? And you can, you can do very well with what you have, and then once you, did, once you have that, okay, then you can move forward, raise money, and build new facilities, okay? So, but he taught me a lot, and I, I really appreciate and miss him uh, as a mentor. A couple things I want to say, just in terms of as we look forward, you know, um, uh, the, we've had great success here, obviously, uh, Coach. I call him coach. I'm about to call him president, coach, um, because he's going to be mentoring me as well, so I'll call him coach. Um, he's talked about the success that uh, the athletic department's already had, right? So we've got great bones here. We've got great foundation. So the foundation has been laid, but, but why, why am I here? I'm here to go higher. I want to every day make sure that we get better, every single day. You know, whether that happens to be with student athletes and academics, whether it happens to be sports performance, but we're going to get better every single day, and you can count on me to support you in every way that I can to make sure that that happens, okay? Uh, I also want to emphasize there's a couple of things that's important to me uh, in terms of uh, the mission. So my mission never changes. I'm a um, first-generation college student. I believe that education uh, is a great, great equalizer, uh, you know, in America that, that provides an opportunity for all of us to live the American dream, okay? So when I talk about the passion uh, about uh, student athletes and student athlete development and education in its entirety, I mean it. I'm only here because of that. I came from a, a tough background, and because the ability to, to uh, God given ability to play football and, uh, and, and the opportunities that laid out for sports, you know, that's why I'm here. So we're going to do everything that we can within our power to make sure the student athletes always have a great opportunity, okay, through scholarship. <clears throat> we're going to engage the campus community. We're going to engage, uh, you know, the, the greater community, the greater Cobb County community. Uh, you all have done a tremendous job in doing that. That's why you have such tremendous growth. That's something that attracted me to this great institution is just the, the growth and the leadership. And to be a part of that at this time in our history is significant. And I want you to know how important it is to me to be a part of it as your director of athletics. So I am very humbled. Um, I feel very blessed to have an opportunity to work with each of you and to get to know each one of you uh, on a personal level. I'm a personal guy. I'm going to be calling you. I'll be asking for assistance, but I'm also going to help you. There will never be a time when I'm going to ask you to do something I'm not willing to do. Uh, I'll always do that, okay? So <clears throat> building champions is my thing, and that's your theme as well. So building, building champions in the classroom, uh, uh, on the field, and in life with academic integrity and excellence, okay? But it's got to be in that order, in the classroom first. Because if you do what you're supposed to do in the classroom, if we make sure that we push our student athletes towards success academically, they will always have a, a great future. And you don't have to worry about them being ineligible either. That's part of it, <laughs> right? But they're, they're going to be successful. And that's our job, is to, is to help our student athletes move forward in their lives. And then, and then when we talk about life after sports, okay, uh, I want them to be champions after they're done with uh, being a student athlete, okay? After they're done with hopefully, you know, playing professional sports if they desire to do that. But I want them to be great doctors. I want them to be great lawyers. I want them to be great contributors to 
this, uh, this great America that we live in, okay? So you can, you can expect that that mission will always follow me and always be a part of what we do. There's seven things um, that, that I wanted to focus on um, and always focus on in terms of uh, the, the athletic department, and uh, I call them the seven pillars uh, for great success, okay? And I say great success because we, we're winning championships. What we want to do is be dominant, okay? Dominant. Sustain dominance. And you do that by doing, focusing on seven areas, academics, compliance, strength and conditioning, uh, athletic training, making sure that they're healthy and strong, okay, uh, having facilities, great facilities, finances, making sure we have great finances, and also making sure that uh, we, we pay attention to student athlete welfare. That's going to always come first. So as you're building your house, okay, those are the pillars that, uh, that we're going to stand on and all of our staff members are going to focus on. Uh, to make sure that we, uh, not, not just that we maintain excellence, but that we go even higher, okay? So I want to talk, I want to make sure that, uh, that you know that that will always be the focus. <clears throat> so again, for me, I'm, I'm a pretty simple guy. And I'm, I'm fired up a lot of times, so some of you will probably have to pull me back uh, sometimes, and that's, that's a good thing, um, you know, but it's, it's going to be a great ride. Uh, and I look forward so much to spending time with you, uh, I'm a very dedicated individual um, when it comes to the, the mission you know, of what we're trying to get accomplished. And then where does the athletic department fit when it comes to the university? We're the front door. We're the front porch. Okay? What do we want to do? The athletic department's mission is to be an extension of the university from the standpoint of making sure that it helps to achieve its goals of being that first class, world class institution. Okay? So that is what our jobs are, is to support the mission of the institution through athletics. So I'm looking forward to the ride. <laughs> we're going to have fun. We're going to win. And we're gonna, you know what we're going to do? We're going to be a family in everything that we do. You can count on that for me. And that's the expectation. So I mean, you, we're going to hold each other accountable. And I mean each other. I'm saying everybody in the room. Not just people. I'm not talking to the athletic department people here. Okay, I'm talking to everybody <laughs> in the room, everybody on campus. We're going to move up together. OK? So let, let's, let's have some fun together and go Owls. All right?